The third phase of computer investigation model is analyze the data. This phase discusses different approaches and well accepted industry best practices for analyzing the evidence that is gathered during the acquire the data phase of an internal investigation. It used the three step process shown in the screen. The first step is analyze network data. In many investigations, it is not necessary to analyze network data. Instead, the investigation focus on and examine images of data. When network analysis is required, use the following procedures. Examine network service logs for any event of interest. Typically, there will be large amount of data so you should focus on specific criteria for events of interest such as username, date and time or the resources being accessed. Examine firewall, proxy server, intrusion detection system and remote access service logs. Many of these logs contain information from monitored Many of these logs contain information from monitored incoming and outgoing connections and include identifying information such as IP address, time of the event and authentication information. You might want to examine the log data in a tool that is suited for data analysis such as Microsoft SQL Server. View any packet sniffer or network monitoring logs for data that might help you determine the activities that took place over the network. In addition, determine whether connections you are examine. In addition, determine whether connections you examine are encrypted because you will not be able to read the contents of an encrypted session. However, you can still derive the time of connection and whether a suspected party established a session with a specific server. The next step is analyze host data. Host data includes information about components as the operating system and applications. Use the following procedure to analyze the copy of the host data you obtained in the acquire the data phase. Identify what you are looking for. There will likely be a large amount of host data and only a portion of that data might be relevant to the incident. Therefore, you should try to create search criteria for events of interest. For example, you might use Microsoft Windows. For example, you might use Microsoft Windows tools to search the file located in the Windows prefetch folder. This folder contains information such as when and where applications were launched. Examine the operating system data including clock drift information and any data loaded into the host computer's memory to see if you can determine whether any malicious applications or processes are running or scheduled to run. For example, you can use Windows tools to show you what programs are configured to run during the boot process or login. Examine the running applications, processes, and network connections. Next step is 
analyze storage media the storage media you collected during the acquire the data phase will contain many files you need to analyze these files to determine their relevance to the incident which can be a daunting task because storage media such as hard disk and backup tapes often contain hundreds of thousands of files identify files that are likely to be relevant which you can then analyze more closely use the following procedure to extract and analyze data from the storage media you collected identify files that are likely to be relevant which you can then analyze more closely use the following procedure to extract and analyze data from the storage media you collected whenever possible perform offline analysis on a bitwise copy of the original evidence determine whether data encryption was used such as the encrypting file system in microsoft windows several registry keys can be examined to determine whether efs was ever used on the computer if you suspect data encryption was used then you need to determine whether or not you can actually recover and read the encrypted data your ability to do so will depend upon different circumstances such as the version of windows whether or not it is a domain joint computer and how efs was deployed if necessary uncompress any compressed files and archives Although most forensic software can read compressed files from the disk image, you might need to uncompress archive files to examine all files on the media you are analyzing. Create a diagram of the directory structure. It might be useful to graphically represent the structure of the directories and files on the storage media to effectively analyze the files identify files of interest if you know which files are affected by the security incident you can focus the investigation on these files first the hash sets create the hash sets created by the national software reference library can be used to compare well known files such as operating system and application file to the originals those files that match can normally be eliminated from the investigation you can also use info you can also use informational sites such as filespecs.com who is it format processl library processlibrary.com and microsoft dll help to find you categorize and collect information about existing file formats as well as to identify files examine the registry the database that contains windows configuration information for information about the computer boot processes installed applications including those loaded during startups and login information such as username and logon domain for registry background information and detailed description of registry content see the windows server 
2003 resource kit registry reference. Various tools are available for analyzing the registry including REG EDIT which ships with the Windows operating system. <coughs> Search the contents of all gathered files to help identify files that may be of interest. Various intelligent searches can be performed using tools described in the tool section in appendix. Search the content of all gathered files to help identify files that may be of interest. Study the metadata of files of interest using tools such as NCASE by Guidance Software, the Forensic Toolkit FTK by Access Data, or ProDiscover by Technology Pathways. File attributes such as timestamps can show the creation, last access, and last written times, which can often be helpful which can often be helpful when investigating an incident. Use file viewers to view the content of the identified files, which allow you to scan and preview certain files without the original application that created them. This approach protects files from accidental damage and is often more cost effective than using native application. Note that file viewers are specific to each type of file. If a viewer is not available, use the native application to examine the file. After you analyze all the available information, you may be able to reach a conclusion. However, it is important to be very cautious at this stage and ensure that you do not blame the wrong party for any damages. However, if you are certain of your findings, you will be ready to begin the report the investigation phase.